introduce you to Julianne Brady and we're going to be releasing three videos. The first video is going to be all around what you can expect as a beginner guitar player. Hi, uh, I'm Julian, as my wife Claire just mentioned, and I'm the New Zealand rep for the London College of Music, uh, and I've been running the exams here for 10 years ish, I think. Um, and so now I'm going to give you an overview of the London College of Music books. Uh, I'm going to, I've chosen the electric guitar, and we're starting off with the hardest beginner grade, uh, beginners being preliminary one and two, intermediate being three, four, five, advanced being six, seven, eight. I also go on and do diplomas, should you wish. So, first of all, a couple of things. I'm uh, briefly going to go through the book, very briefly, just to show you the sections and what they involve. There's a little introduction on this grade two book, which tells you about how music's written, the various different methods of having it written. It's got three ways they've chosen here. Mm, there are four, uh, but if I go into the detail, it, don't be frightened by it. You actually don't need to learn that initially. The first playing section is scales, which are a series of notes. I'm not going to go into detail now, but we can get to play scales. This book I've chosen is grade two, which is the more advanced of the beginner courses. So these have their scales in two octaves. That's one octave, so we've got two of those. Ascending and descending, so you'll end up playing them quite quickly. Scales are a series of notes and they're really useful for when you're a real proper rock star and you want to do some solos. They're used to, to give you the notes to choose from with which to make a beautiful melody or, like I say, some real rock songs. Um, on to the next section, which is chords. So these are the chords and these are the ones that are uh, required for this level, grade two. And these are preliminary, grade one and grade two, are all chords called nut fret chords. They're all played down here. Three, four, five, you move them up here. Six, seven, eight, you start manipulating the chords that you want to play up here. But this lot, all down here, vaguely straightforward. I'll talk you through them. The next section is putting those chords together into little pieces of music. Okay? Uh, they look hard. When you play all these, they're going to sound terrible. They're supposed to sound terrible. The uh, more you play them, the better you get. When you play them 50 times each, you sound really sweet. That's how it works. OK, am I going to play one for you? I'll play a couple of bars of one, just as you can see. I'm just looking at the time signature, then the first few bits and pieces. I'll play these. Here we go. Four. chords as a little bit naughty I played one of those chords as a bar chord but no problem the next section is the lead playing section which is the most fun um, there's these chords are well they are there for you to play obviously but that's a rhythm piece the idea is um, in the lesson here I will be playing this and you will be using your scales to play over to make up an improvisation that's a little bit of lead playing um, for online lessons, I will have a package of these as a background, which I will mail to you, and you can just play and improvise over. Uh, so there we are, it's using the scales to make a little... I wonder if I can... stuff so don't worry about what I'm playing here in fact take all the worries you might have discard them and just learn how to talk to your teacher that's that's the biggest piece of advice I can give you um, again more hints tips on how to play it better and then we get into the last two sections there are spoken tests about naming notes all this stuff I will tell you so 
all the stuff I'm teaching you now, I know the questions they're going to ask you and I'm going to give you the answers. The lady at the back with a that, question. Yes, that's in the grade exams you're talking yes. about, yes. Okay, so I teach music and these, these are specifically designed with a, an exam at the end, which I recommend because that's, it's a step in the ladder that goes up. Uh, certainly not compulsory. If you want to come and learn how to play rock, you come and learn how to play rock. I'll teach you what you want to know, but in my experience, uh, if you go through these grades grade by grade, you end up doing a long process and reaching an end, which is at a much higher level than you would otherwise do. Another question. Yes, from the lady in the back again. <laughs> Um, so if I wanted to be a rock star and I had some um, songs that I really wanted to learn to play, could I bring those along to you? Could you teach me that? Yep, yep. The answer to that question is yes, I can. Awesome. Okay, don't bring anything really, really difficult. Don't bring Mike Oldfield or anything like that. <laughs> okay, uh, I will teach you a song providing I, I deem it to be within your range or a good target that you're not quite ready for, but you'll get there. So yes, of course. Uh, the spoken tests are about the instruments and about clarity and fluency uh, and knowledge of the instruments and some of the terms that we use to describe it. And the last section is testing. Um, it's a very good section. People find it very confusing, very difficult at first, but it's actually testing your listening skills and it makes you listen really hard and analyse what you're listening to. Um, there's a, a repetition of rhythms, uh, which is basically clapping a rhythm and you have to clap it back. And some more sections, repetition of a short melodic phrase, recognising a time signature, like the beat of a song, and the pitch test and a harmony test, listening to the differences between major and minor chords. And that's a rough overview. So, yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. That was my early grades overview. I'll do a middle grades overview. There's a whole plethora of stuff to go with this. Um, best thing you can do is to feel at ease and be able to talk and be able to play. Don't ever worry about your mistakes. I guarantee you're going to make hundreds of them. Make them now and they'll go away. Awesome. Thank okay. you, Julian. So if you want to have fun and <laughs> learn to play guitar with Julian, um, we will just put up where you can contact myself or Julian to book your lesson. Thank you for listening.